All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network. This is going to be an unboxing of the ZTW Beast 120 amp brushless racing Speedo. Now, I picked up this particular Speedo for my Sakura D3 counter steer drift car. Uh, this uh, Speedo is designed for a 110th or 112th scale vehicle. Now, this Speedo also can run a full censored setup and with its 120 amp. Um, limit it can definitely hold some pretty good motors out there um, as far as some of the other things on the box here let's take a look at that really quick um, it does have enhanced throttle response excellent acceleration strong brakes and throttle linearity um, multiple protection so it has all your low voltage um, cutoff protection overheat protection things like that and you can also use your pc or program card uh, to program uh, the different aspects of this particular ESC. Um, other side here, there's a quick model number for you guys. There will be a, a link in the video description down below so you can check it out for yourself. On the other side here, just some more features right here for competition, uh, different ways you can program this ESC. And of course, how to contact ZTW. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Let's see what you get inside the box here. As I open it, let's see. All right, immediately we start to see some literature in here. Looks like you have your owner's manual and you know how to um, obviously set it up and get it uh, soldered inside your vehicle. Uh, different you know calibration ranges and whatnot. Also have a warranty card right here from ZTW, which is nice. And let's go ahead and do some of the boring supplement items before we start looking at the ESC. Grab all this stuff out of this box. It has kind of a, a foam box in here. Go ahead and pull the ESC out. There we go. It was stuck in there. So looks like you got about six inches of wire leads. Um, all color coded, so you have your red and your black for uh, your battery leads, and then also a yellow, green, and blue. It might be orange. I'm colorblind. I can't tell um, for your ESC to motors. So uh, these are all pre-tinted, so they're ready to be soldered up. Um, the coolest thing about this, and you know, obviously it's not going to be a plug-and-play unit, um, but you can definitely customize your particular card to make it look really nice as far as the wiring, which I definitely appreciate. Um, another thing on here, you do get a little capacitor block right here, and I'm sure the owner's manual will tell me exactly where to solder this into. And lastly, you get also some color-coded shrink wrap, which is nice, so you can kind of cover up your uh, soldering joints if you happen to need to cover it up. So let's take a look at the ESC here. Um, I've already kind of pre-opened this up and kind of took a look at it before you guys. Um, but very nice ESC, a, a very small footprint. It has this really cool um, uh, kind of mirror chrome, this dark chrome uh, case to it. It is plastic, um, but very nice case. Um, it does have an aluminum heat sink right there to help dissipate the heat. And of course, the included fan definitely will help that. Very thick fan, but small footprint once again. It does have a few different features right here on the front. It does have a plug-in for the fan, a plug-in for the receiver lead, which is about 8 inches. I like that definitely. I've never seen that in an ESC. You have your power button with the um, universal kind of power on little sign right there. Other side right here, you have your five uh, terminals. Uh, very nice terminals, very Tekken esque terminals. So they are gold and they do have kind of that inset right in there so you can get a very good bond on your wires. And then lastly, underneath here, you do have your sensor port and then all of your organization as far as A, B, C, plus and minus for your battery. So that's it. Can't wait to kind of get this thing installed in my Sakura D3 and see how this thing performs. But that's it. If you have any questions about this item, check out the video description. There's going to be a link down there over to my friends at AsiaTees.com. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.